making a model like this one from scratch because it's easy to make a model your own by simply editing somebody else's model but you'll also want very frequently to be able to to make your own so I'm going to close this one and I'm going to start another one <coughs> Who's um, making the interesting noises? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so net logo, I'm gonna. This is called untitled, so I'll save this as, uh, let's say, junk. Okay. Now every net logo model has got to have a setup button. So let's start with the setup button. We will uh, click the plus sign, and then move the cursor to somewhere upper left corner where we want to put the button one click we got a button and down here in the dialog box write the name of that button which is going to be serve two different mm -hmm. purposes it's going to be the label on the button as we see now mm -hmm. set up and it's also going to be the name of a procedure written in the code window which will be called when that button is pushed and that procedure has to be called setup so I put here I'll just make a comment first this is junk by Ralph okay and then say to set up CA that's clear all and end. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did last time. And this time we also want to create a turtle. So let's just put here CRT uh, 1. Create random turtle. And let's see if that works. It works. And see, I don't know if you can see it, this little green arrowhead is pointing in a random direction. And it's small and it's green. And I want to correct all three of those things. So under procedures, after CRT1, I'll put some square bracket and a command like uh, set color yellow. And uh, then we'll see what that does. It's yellow and it's pointing in yet a different direction. So I want to control the direction it's heading and I can put multiple commands on the one line here but it's better to put them on separate lines so I'll do this. Mm. So uh, this looks different but it's the same but now I have a good space where I can add more commands such as set heading zero which means uh, pointing due north let's see what happens now when I press setup I get <coughs> the yellow mm -hmm. turtle pointing north uh, but it's hard to see so I'll make, make it larger size whoops set color uh, magenta see what happens oh I wanted to set the size sorry set size three is a good size well let's try five press set up get this giant now we could also change the shape we can say set shape circle set shape square set shape turtle set shape horse and so on and in some of the animations I've shown you previously, for example, in the the uh, trade route over the Himalayas, we had a yak-shaped turtle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we need another button to do something mm -hmm. uh, with that turtle. And let's say we want it to go forward once. So we'll choose a button, do add again. Mm -hmm. And... <coughs> um, I'll just call it move 
okay so here we have the button and it's labeled move but the word move is in red and that's because there's an error and uh, the error is that there's no procedure called move so we'll fix that error by creating down here a procedure called move so to move we will uh, ask this turtle which right now is the only one and its name is turtle zero and what I want it to do is move uh, forward by four let's say okay. and that'll be the end of this procedure now when I click interface go back to the interface and we see the word move is no longer red now it's black because there's no error so do set up again and move pow goes four patch widths forward that's cool very cool that's 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 all there is to it uh pen down mm -hmm. pen up maybe i will post uh the model that i showed you before that has the commands for pen up and pen down and uh i think that would be fair for now and you can use that program to make a drawing and cool. you could also optionally modify the program to give you the capability of doing some drawing other than uh, the ones restricted to 15 degree angles for example you could have a, a rotate by one degree then you do, you'd have to press it 90 times uh, to do a right angle but you might want to you might want to rotate, you might want to draw a square and then rotate by five degrees and then draw another square and uh, do that 72 times to draw a complicated <laughs> figure made of squares. Now, if you use your browser and go uh, uh, Google up the word logo, you will then find a bunch of drawings made by little children that are very very interesting and we should at least develop the capability oh look at that I can see the lower school hey that's cool yes. hi lower school guys hi. okay <laughs> so uh, that's what I wanted to show you today and um, this is more or less the way I have uh, taught net logo programming in India, Japan, and, and at the Roth School several years ago, and in my courses at UC Santa Cruz. It progresses uh, a little faster because we usually meet three to five times per week, do a little tiny bit of homework each week, and honestly, it just takes a week or two to actually. Um, totally master net logo and uh, we've done this down to the fourth and fifth grade so we, we know mm -hmm. that uh, uh, this is doable for you if you just have the time to sit for a few minutes with it you will be empowered and not only you'll be empowered to do net logo models and to read and understand other people's net logo <laughs> models but um, y you'll also be empowered to think of cool ways to uh, illustrate concepts, for example, systems thinking concepts for your students in class. And you could, like, uh, the models I make for you here take barely five minutes uh, to make after you've learned how. You have the capability to create animations on the fly, as it were, because this oh, is such a good. rapid development program. Okay. Any uh, question? Yeah, Ralph, I have a question. Is there somewhere? Oh, what? Elka, can you get closer to the microphone? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, is there somewhere in this box or somewhere on the menu where we can find where the vocabulary is ah. for creating? Thank you so much for asking that question. Let me just turn I'm off so that, that logo out. here. And uh, I need my Safari browser. Um, 
So here it is, and you should find this when you are in NetLogo. There's a help button at the top, and you can uh, you can push that help button, and you will then see this in your your browser. So when the help button in NetLogo points your browser at an HTML file. And once you are in that file in your browser, you can bookmark it. And then you can get this up. And I have it right here. See NetLogo 5.0 user manual in my bookmark bar of the Safari browser. And I click that and I get this. Uh, it says NetLogo user manual in the upper left. Under that is a lengthy menu in the left column. And under reference, it has an item called NetLogo Dictionary. The other stuff, very handy to read. There are tutorials, and uh, I don't think you have to read them because you can mm -hmm. learn this faster by just doing your own model. But when you click on NetLogo Dictionary, oh. then you get yeah. this uh, panel on the right hand side, and there's alphabetical. So let's say we want pen. Pen what? Pen up, pen down? Okay, you could look under P and go directly to the pen command or you can say well the pen belongs to a turtle so if I click the turtle category at the top of the NetLogo dictionary then here all turtle related commands in one compact block and uh, here's one that says patch here patch left and ahead patch right and ahead pen down so I click that it goes directly to the pen down command and it says the turtle changes modes between drawing lines, removing lines, or neither. And so there you get the instruction uh, and uh, <coughs> the uh, mm. official name is uh, up here in the upper left. Pen down, pen erase, and pen up are three commands that control the pen of the turtle. If you draw something and you want to erase the drawing without uh, erasing everything, then you can just choose Clear Drawing, CD. So you'll find what you are looking for in the NetLogo Dictionary. So the NetLogo Dictionary, which is part of the user manual, is the answer to Elko's question and to my questions and yours and I refer to this NetLogo dictionary every two minutes when I'm creating a NetLogo program because there's no way in the world I can remember all this stuff. Besides, I'm programming at least 10 different languages every day.